You're giving them a binge worthy place to learn all aspects of your personal brand, not to mention you're playing on your own turf. How good does that feel that you can bring people in to your very own website, you can connect with them and you're not reliant on an algorithm or a change to a platform or maybe getting blocked or banned or getting in jail, right? <laughs> you have a place to send people to connect with them to continue to build that personal brand and that's what they want to see from you. Hey, hey everyone, Becky Lander here. Welcome back to the podcast. So happy you're here with us today. Today we're talking about a topic that I absolutely love to dive into. We're talking about why you need a personal brand. And you may have heard me talk about this before. You may have heard others talk about personal brands and why that is important. And you might also be thinking, I mean, I joined my direct sales company to be part of their brand. Why would I need my own personal brand? So today in this episode, we're going to unpack what it means to have your own personal brand, the value that comes along with that, and why kind of hiding within your company's brand is actually not going to serve you over the long haul. Now, I get it. When you first start out in direct sales, you join a company, that company is giving you assets, they're giving you graphics, they're giving you templates, they're giving you all of the easy marketing materials for you to share to talk about why you love their brand. And that's a great place to start. That is 100% where I would begin. And as you begin to grow your business and kind of find your own voice and learn what products you love and you are passionate about, you evolve and you grow. And this is the timing when it's perfect to start thinking about your brand and how you show up. Because believe it or not, your customers are shopping with you because they love you. Now, I know they also love the product and they love your direct sales company, but there's a reason why you're the person that they shop from. And it's easy for us to forget that, right? It can feel easy for us to think, oh, they just love these amazing pieces of jewelry, or they love these meal solutions I provide, or they love the clothing that I sell, or the supplements I sell. But what they really love is the story that you create around those products. So as you're thinking about growing your business, you're thinking about the long haul, you're thinking about your strategy, not just today and what you need to serve your customers today, but really over the long haul, I want you to think about how your personal brand is unfolding. And it is really common for that to take twists and turns along the way. I think about my personal brand, I started selling books, right? That was the thing. I was the book lady. Like, come to my book corner. I'm doing book fairs. You need a good kid's book. I'm your girl, right? Right? And then my brand evolved a little bit. And I wasn't just the book lady. I also had incredible clothing to offer for kids and for women. And people started thinking, oh, now she's, she's also got this in the mix. And then my brand evolved even a little bit more. And I was the girl to go to for training. Okay, I need to figure out how to grow my direct sales business. I'm going to Becky for that. So just know that even when you started with your company, Compared to where you are right now, your personal brand has likely evolved. And in fact, I think it really evolves depending upon what season of life you're in, right? If you have little kids at home, if you have an empty nest now, if you are caring for aging parents and all these different seasons that we go through in our life, our personal brand evolves and your customers love watching that story. They love seeing the twists and the turns and the updates and the behind the scenes of what you are doing in your life as well as in your business. And here's the thing, they're not going to get a glimpse into that by just subscribing to your company's email list or just browsing your company's corporate website. They're only going to get a glimpse into your exciting life, even if you, I think we all think our lives are boring, but like they're only going to get to see the exciting things that you're doing if, if you let them 
right? So we have to let them in. We have to take them on a journey and show them this incredible personal brand that you're building. So that's a little bit about why a personal brand is important, but let's get real tactical, right? We know there are many other people selling the exact same product that you're selling. Yeah but they're shopping with you because they love you. You don't want to get lost in the shuffle. You want to stand out. So when you connect with somebody at a vendor event or you get a referral from someone, they're remembering you, not the company brand name. They're remembering who you are so they can come back to you and get your expertise on how you can provide a solution to them. So when we're thinking about standing out from not only all the other small business owners out there and big corporations out there that may even be selling a similar product. But we really want to stand out even among the other direct sellers that are within your company selling the exact same product. Because your take on it, your spin on it, your season of life that you're in is going to be totally different than theirs. And that customer is going to keep coming back to you again because they love you. So the other thing that I want to hit on today when it comes to personal brand is this is just another way to kind of future proof your business, right? So when we think about the twists and the turns that our business and our life takes us on, we've seen this time and time again, especially recently, we know that there are companies that are sadly closing their doors. There are companies that are changing their business models. There are companies that maybe make decisions that you no longer feel aligned with. And if you only brand yourself under that company's name and those companies' products, then you kind of put yourself in a, a little bit of a risky situation, right? You want to build this personal brand that's centered on you and the amazing products and brands that you represent. And I say brands, plural, in the sense that maybe you're representing multiple direct sales companies, or maybe you have a direct sales company you're building with and a couple of other brands that you are an affiliate for, right? So when we're thinking about your personal brand, your story, it's really based on you and who you are. It's not just being the jewelry lady, the bag lady, the book lady, whatever that might be for you, right? We really want to create a solid personal brand. So your leads, your customers are going to follow your journey wherever that may take you. And if something catches you off guard and surprises you, you have that personal brand to essentially fall back on that you know that you have people that are connected with you no matter what happens with the company that you are aligned with. All right, you following me on that? So let's talk a little bit more about why this is important. So let's talk a little bit more tactical here about how to build that personal brand and to be recognized as the brand you're building. You want to become the go-to for fill in the blank, right? So it might be the go-to for a certain product or a certain lifestyle or maybe the way that you approach your sales. You really need to identify what those key categories are that you want to be known for. So I usually say that on average, people can really only remember maybe three to five things about you. Maybe they remember that you're a health enthusiast. Maybe they remember that you love your green smoothies. Maybe they remember that you're the go-to person for a book recommendation or a book club. Maybe you're known to be the one that always raises your hand and volunteers and is super involved with your kids' activities. Maybe you're known for always having a coffee in your hand or being late running around wherever you're headed to next. Maybe you're known for being that person in the community that always has a good resource or a good recommendation or a referral. Maybe you're known for your day job. If you're in real estate or accounting, you're the numbers person. So there's so many different aspects to your personal brand that you could embody. But the reality is, especially when we're showing up online, whether that's social media or through building your own brand on a website, people are probably going to only remember three to five things about you. So if you can distill down who you are in three to five categories, that's going to give you direction, right? That's going to give you direction on the type of content 
that you put out. That's going to give you direction on the way you show up for your customers, for your leads. So I want to challenge you to take a little bit of time and think about what those categories are that you want to be known for. Now, not all of those categories need to be tied to your direct sales company. Maybe one or two of them are tied to that, but there's more to you than the company that you represent. So be really intentional when you're picking these categories about what you want to be known for. A good kind of test or experiment here is to ask others what they think of when they hear your name. I know this can feel a little scary, right? But put yourself out there. You can do this on social media if you want. You can ask around. You can call a couple friends. Like, what are those things that people say about me when I'm not in the room? If somebody's like, oh, hey, do you know Becky? Oh, yeah. She's the mom that's always at the ball fields. She's the mom that does online marketing and training and direct sales. She's the mom. Those kinds of things that people use to describe who you are may help clue you in on those categories you want to be known for. And... This also gives you an opportunity to maybe redefine those categories. Okay, maybe I don't want to always be known as the mom that has a coffee in her hand running late, (laughs) right? Maybe I want to be known as the person that nerds out over online marketing and social media and can always answer your questions if you're trying to figure out how to show up online. Or, hey, I really actually want to be known as the health enthusiast that is training for a half marathon, right? By the way, I'm not doing that. But whatever that might be for you, have a little bit of fun with this. This is an opportunity for you to really define how you're going to show up. So once you've defined those three to five categories, everything gets a whole lot more simple. You don't have to think about what am I going to post about? What am I going to share? What am I going to blog about? What am I going to put on my website? You know how you want to show up. So you can just lean in to those categories that represent who you are. Everything falls into place. As you're creating a social media calendar, you can say, all right, here are my five categories. I'm going to talk about one on Monday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, right? So you can plot out how you're going to show up to really enhance that personal brand that you're building and do it in a super intentional way. This also just gives people a glimpse into your life and what you're all about. If you're only posting about product and you're only posting about your company, they're not going to get to see the true, authentic you that we want them to get to know because that's what they love and that's who they love to shop with. Now, once you have clarity on those categories that represent who you are and how you want to show up and that personal brand that you're building, there's a few places that you can show off that personal brand. Of course, you can do that in person, making in-person connections, whether you're out and about at the grocery store, if you're out doing activities with your kids, you're making connections at your community center, your church, people are going to get to see that in the way that you introduce yourself. Oftentimes we talk about an elevator speech or if somebody says like, oh, nice to meet you. Like, what do you do? Right? How often are you like, oh, what do I do? Do all the things. So getting really clear and succinct in how you describe what you do and who you help is a great way to show that personal brand and establish that credibility and that recognition of the brand that you're building. Now, another place that you can build your personal brand is on social media, right? Many of us are using social media as a way to attract leads into our business. So whether you're showing up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, you name it, wherever you might be showing up, you can weave these categories and themes into the content that you're creating. It's also a great time to do a little bit of a personal branding checkup, take a look at your cover photo your profile picture, your bio, make sure that that personal brand that you're building is being reflected in the best way possible in social media. Most people are checking you out for like all of three seconds, right? Maybe they see some content you put out, they click on your profile, they take a peek at who you are, and they make a pretty quick decision there if they're going to click the follow button or if they're going to keep on scrolling. So we want to make sure that that personal brand is super visible in the social content that you're creating. And that does not mean saying that you're a diamond, triple, amazing, emerald (laughs) consultant with whatever company, right? We're showcasing our personal brand beyond the product, beyond the company that you're with. One hot tip on this that I see people make a mistake all the time on is if you're on Facebook on your profile and it says that you work at your direct sales company, you have a little bit of work to do, right? 
You don't work for them. <laughs> You're an independent contractor for one. But for two, we want to build your brand, right? So that should be linking to your business page. That should not be linking to your company's business page because we're building your brand. So take a look at your profile. Give yourself a quick checkup. Make sure everything looks good. And this is an activity that I would do probably every three months because things change, links change, things break. We want to make sure that we're showing up with that personal brand on the regular. It's updated, it's consistent. Of course, there's an easy way for people to go check you out. So the next question is, where do they go check you out, right? If you have a link to your company replicated website, that's a great way to show your company's products. But what that's not going to do is tell your followers anything else about you. And again, back to the topic of this podcast, they care more about you than the products and the brand that you're aligned with. So you really want to make sure that you have a place to take people to show all of who you are. This is where you shine. This is where you can talk about all of those categories and that entire personal brand that you're building, not just being that person that sells that thing. So my very best recommendation on where to take people to learn more about you and to build your personal brand from the ground up is your own personalized website. Now, we have our Oh My High websites relaunching. We're so excited for this. This is coming your way this week. If you're on the early bird wait list, you may have already heard about it, actually. So we, we've we put these websites together in a way that you can showcase your personal brand. You can take those three to five categories and share online about who you are, what you're passionate about. You can write blog posts. You can have your favorite products featured. You can share your story. You can highlight products you love. You can have ways for people to connect with you personally and stay in touch with you where you're building that personal brand. Now, of course, you can link out to your company site to shop a specific product or shop their entire website. But the place that you want to send people is a foundation of your personal brand, right? If you just send them to your company's website, they're not going to get to know about your family. They're not going to get to know your take on your favorite products. They're not going to get a chance to truly connect with you. And that's what they want to know. Now, I love taking them there versus taking them to our social channels because this content you're going to create on your website is going to continue to gain visibility over time. Whereas on social media, people are quick. We got like three seconds here, seven seconds there. Things become old news real quick. So having a solid place with all of the essential information that you need to know about you and that personal brand that you're building, we want to put that on your own personalized website. Not to mention, this elevates your personal brand so, so much. I just heard from one of our students that they actually checked out their website, their direct sales website, that they created their own personalized website on Oh My High before somebody interviewed them for a job. Oh my gosh, what a great way to share more about who you are and what you do and what you're passionate about. How great is this for people to land on that page and reach out and say, hey, I have an event coming up. Would you like to partner with me on it? Hey, I'd love to collaborate with you or to just continue to stay in touch with you outside of social media, which we know more and more people are leaving social media and are not engaging on social media, but you're giving them a binge worthy place to learn all aspects of your personal brand, not to mention you're playing on your own turf. How good does that feel that you can bring people in to your very own website, you can connect with them and you're not reliant on an algorithm or a change to a platform or maybe getting blocked or banned or getting in jail, right? (laughs) You have a place to send people to connect with them to continue to build that personal brand and that's what they want to see from you. The beauty of Oh My High is that you do not need to hire a web designer. You do not need to hire a copywriter. You do not need to pay for separate hosting fees. It is all in one. In fact, with the newest enhancements, we now have email marketing and a light CRM for you to keep track of your customers, connect with them, and have it all integrated in an all-in one-stop shop. How good does that feel? So here's my challenge for you. I want you to think a little bit more about those three to five categories that you want to be known for. Start there, ask around, get some ideas of what those 
core foundations are to your personal brand. Then come hang out with us tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's tomorrow, Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. We have a brand new workshop coming at you. It is called Build Your Brand Beyond Social Media. And this is a hands-on workshop. Literally, there is a workbook with templates. You're going to do the work in identifying that personal brand, building that brand recognition that you're working on, together with me in the workshop. By the way, it's totally free. And then you'll get the first look at our brand new Oh My Hi website to see if that might be a fit for you to continue building your personal brand on. So I would love to personally invite you to come join us tomorrow. I can't wait for it. It's going to be such a good time. I have the whole morning blocked off on my calendar to deliver this workshop work with you on it, answer your questions, share a sneak peek of Oh My Hi, and help you get this personal brand nailed down, ready to go before the holiday season. This is not something to put on the 2025 to-do list. This is literally something that you could get done this week. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How good does that sound? (laughs) All right, my friends, thank you so much for being here today. I would love to hear from you. If you are working on your personal brand, if you're defining those three to five categories, shoot me a DM over on Instagram at Modern Direct Seller. I'd love, love to hear from you. If you're struggling with it, if you're stuck on something, if you want feedback, or if you want me to even give a quick look over on social media, or as you're starting to draft that brand new website, I would love to help you out. So I look forward to seeing you at the workshop tomorrow. Staying in touch, shoot me a message. I will be back here next week for another episode of the podcast. Until then, let's get out there and make it a great day. Take care. We are proud to welcome CentShare as the newest sponsor of the Modern Direct Seller podcast. CentShare is the number one most trusted social media platform for network marketers, direct sellers, affiliates, independent consultants, virtual assistants, small businesses, and creators in any industry. Start your 30-day trial today with coupon code GAMECHANGER and spend less time posting and more time socializing. 